First, let me say that uh, I had a chance to meet uh, this morning with uh, the family, uh, and it was a very sad occasion. Um, lots of tears, uh, but I will tell you that as you heard in the press conference just a little while ago, that um, the family is in mourning, uh, but also wants to honor the spirit of Samuel's life. And uh, as they described him, he was a jokester, but he was not a violent man. And um, they want him to be remembered as such, and they want this city to act in a way to honor his spirit. And I, on behalf of the city, was able to express our condolences to the family, and I want to thank the family uh, for their leadership for this city at this time. The second thing I want to say is that I think we all hoped that the charges that would come out of the grand jury would match the video the actions on the video, that if the actions on the video were justified, that that would be the charge and, or no charge, and if the actions were not justified, that charges would reflect that. We wanted the right thing to be done, the just thing to be done, the fair thing to be done. We wanted the truth to come out. And when you look at, for example, uh, the videos in New York earlier this year, and you see that no charge was brought, there was a great sense that, that maybe justice was not done. In this case, I want to thank Prosecutor Joe Dieters for his extraordinary leadership, not for pushing an agenda, but for doing the right thing. And. I've known uh, Joe for almost 20 years, uh, and he has done the city an enormous public service today. And I want to thank him and his office for moving quickly in the pursuit of the right thing. We are going to get through this with the help of the family and the help of the many people uh, in this room. Our police department is prepared and ready to deal with anything that happens today or tomorrow or the next couple of days. We have the best police department in the world. We respect the right of people to peacefully protest and to exercise their First Amendment rights. And there is obviously reason for people to be angry today and upset. And uh, people deserve the right to be able to do so in a public manner. That's what this country is all about. And our police department is prepared to respect that. Our police department is also prepared to deal with people that would violate the spirit of Samuel DeBose's life, which was nonviolence, and his family has called for the same. I also want to take a minute to thank the unity of the city right now. We have great uh, civil rights leaders like Bishop Bobby Hilton and Pete Mingo here who have been walking the streets, who have been talking to the community, who have lots of experience urging calm and peace and also demanding justice. I want to thank my colleagues. We've got Councilman, former police officer Wendell Young, Councilwoman Yvette Simpson, Councilwoman Amy Murray, Councilman Charlie Winburn, Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld. I know uh, Councilman Smitherman is on a uh, family vacation, but he has been checking in constantly and asking what he can do to help. You know, Woody Allen famously said, half of life is just showing up. And I'm proud that this city and the city council is here, present. Uh, at a tough time for, for our city. I also want to take special acknowledgement of State Representative Christy Bryant, who is here, and Cecil Thomas, State Senator Cecil. Cecil was an incredible leader back in 2001 and really helped this city. And every time I turn on the TV, he is out there walking the walk. And so we are blessed 
to have a lot of people who have worked together over many years, and those relationships are activated now. And we are in this together. I urge people to go about their business. Those who need to exercise their moral outrage should are allowed to do so, of course, in a peaceful way, and we will respect that. But we, Cincinnati, will get through this. We will get through this with a fair justice process that Joe Dieters has overseen and with a professional police department that is there on the street. And we will continue to work with our great university, the University of Cincinnati,